Just south of the Conservancy, Dr. Chris is heading to provide emergency aid to a great horned owl that's just been rescued. Got a phone call from Veronica at Wildlife Haven. They have a great horned owl. Uh, I don't know all the story, but I'm gonna head down to the rehab center and help figure out what's going on and what we can do for this bird. Wildlife Haven is a rescue and rehab center for sick and injured wildlife. So you just rescued an owl. Yeah, yeah, we have a great horned owl here. He was trapped in an air duct for about 36 hours or so. And you went in there to get him out just now? Yeah, I just rescued him. Had to use a 10 foot long pole with a net attached to the end. Poor little guy. I know. Yeah. He was quite, quite stressed out when rescuing him. He's not in the best state right now, but. You're nice and reactive. Yeah, he's very alert. I think probably it's time for a closer look. Yeah. Great horned owls are quite common in Manitoba. We get quite a few into the center annually, and most of them are coming from the city regions, um, especially nowadays with the human encroachment kind of taking their habitat away from them. After 36 hours stuck in a ventilation shaft in a duct, there's a possibility of trauma, broken bones, broken feathers, dehydration is a possibility. Was there much sign of trauma, no bleeding or anything that you noticed? No, no trauma. He's tracking pretty well there. Maybe a little faint bit of blood on his sear there. He was in pretty good body condition. And his vent seems nice and clean. So how did you know he was in for 36 hours? The crew that called us, actually, they had heard something in the air duct making oh, some noise. Oh, gotcha. Um, and I think before they had some issues with uh, rock doves being stuck, or other known as uh, pigeon, mm -hmm. uh, being stuck in the air duct, so they had assumed that's what it was. Maybe he went in after a pigeon. Exactly, yeah, that's what we're thinking. Yeah. I'm not seeing any real signs of trauma. Mm -hmm. Everything is going the way it should. Maybe a stringy saliva in his mouth, so on the dehydrated side, but everything else is checking out pretty well. I think if we can sock some fluids to him, that would be sort of the biggest thing he's lacking right now. So this is a fluid that we're gonna inject into a mouse in order to give the owl a little bit of extra fluid as well as a nice meal. Its stomach, its intestines, those are all working fine. So he should be able to absorb that fluid and get him back to normal. Do you wanna just bite it? So at this point, I will just help you. Good owl. And you do the rest for me. <laughs> Must be hungry. You look a little funny. My tail's sticking out. <laughs> oh, never mind. You just needed a second. All right, there you go. Well, that should help hydration-wise. The next step for this owl is to continue adding fluid to his diet to combat that dehydration. In the next day or two, we'll assess how he's flying because this owl needs to fly. And if everything's going well, we'll be able to release this owl. 